Welcome to season two of the vlog. I am super excited. This whole season is dedicated to the bucket list and I'll explain more about that in another episode. So on today's bucket list episode, Doug is joining me, AKA Dougie Fresh. He's going with me. Let's do this. We're gonna pit stop at Starbucks first. Let's do it. Get a little food. So when you go to Starbucks, is there a certain thing you get every time or do you have a set of things every that time. you mix it up? Same thing every time? Every time, non-fat latte. Non-fat latte. Yeah. Hot. Hot. Even Any on, time of the day. Days. Even on hot days. Crazy. I'm a, uh, I'm a spinach feta wrap guy. I like the spinach feta wrap and I like um, grande iced coffee. Unless it's first thing in the morning, I'm hot, but after that, it's grande iced coffee for sure. Yep. I have 184 stars. I have 379. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> That's a lot of skinny This lattes. is the second Batman Superman related shirt that has come in today. Really? Yeah. Oh, Who do you good. think would win in a fight? Between Superman, Between and, Batman? Superman and Batman? Superman for sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, Batman's not Superman. Yeah. He's just rich. He came out and opened the half and half. God, <laughs> that was crazy. I like that. A little half and half. Yeah. And sweet and low. I practically never eat real sugar. I don't know if that's good or I'm turning myself into a Twinkie. Do I hope you like it? We'll find out. The next scene, you're gonna know where we're gonna be. Okay, so we have arrived. We are at the location of the bucket list item. And by the way, you see that roller coaster out there? That has nothing to do with it. We are going to, are you ready for it? Let's do it. We are going to Flight Fest West the largest electronic RC festival in the world. That's where we're going. I think this is a lot of people's bucket list. This is this is on my bucket list. Because you know, I go to a lot of marketing technology conferences. I'm at trade shows all the time for this month alone. But I've never been to an RC trade show. And that's what we're going to do today. And we've got our tickets for Flight Fest West. Hey, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? Good. We'll just give you these? Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Okay. Enjoy. You guys are good to go? Yeah. Cool. Look at this <laughs> oversized. <laughs> Wayne, that's amazing. That would take a finger off. Huge. Oh my gosh. And so we've got vendors where we can buy stuff. We're definitely going to buy stuff. It's Pikachu. Did you build this one? Yeah, I built it for my boys. Right on. So how great is this inside? They have a whole area set up where kids can buy kits and hang out with their dads and uh, build planes for a couple days. And all of their kits are now made out of foam. So they're really inexpensive and they're really easy to build. And there's some kids making some cool planes. It's making what looks like, uh, I don't know, F-18, F-35. These are cool. This is Low Pro. Definitely love their products. They make backpacks for drones. Hey, do you have? Is this the Low Pro too? Um, yeah. Are you selling it? No. You're not. Not today. So you're here to show us your wonderful products, but you won't sell them to me. We're not That's selling terrible. We don't. Explain. Just not set up for this. You're just but not. A, you're not you, set up for it. But you can enter your email. We'll send you a 20% off coupon, and you can buy 20 it. 20% off, off coupon? I'm yeah. definitely filling that out. And this is the BPX3. This is their new pack, and what's different versus the old one? It has it, a little bit more depth to it. A little bit more depth, and you can store a laptop. Where's the laptop? Right here. Oh, right in there. Look at that. 15 inch. So you can put a 15 inch laptop, and this is where you can put your radio and store all your batteries, and you, you hook your quads on the outside. So this is the one to get, no no longer the Low Pro 2. And you have them in stock? Uh, they will be in stock in, I'm gonna say at the end of the month. When See, it these leaves. guys love to tease you because they, they <laughs> have these great products and then they're never available. Well, but at the end of the month, yet. it's gonna be available. It's brand new. All right, yep. I'm, I'm ordering one and I'm gonna come get my 20% discount. I'm gonna take a picture of you, you taking a, oh, okay. a picture of me. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This is this is what his shot looks like. Now he uh, he yeah, gave hey, me a T-shirt. Yeah. See you this? guys are the best. See Gorilla this? Pod T-shirt yeah. by Joby. So you're partnered with Joby, or you guys make the Joby products? We are Joby too. We are Joby as well. You are Joby. Same company. Well, it's called Damon that owns both of the companies. Really? This is my favorite motor company, <laughs> Emacs, and I just found out I need to pick up four of those. So we'll get those later. 
So you hear that sound in the background? That's them showing off their motors. They're ridiculous. Oh, look at these Thank new you. antennas. Very durable. Might have to get some of those too. These are new FPV antennas from Emacs, and uh, they have right polarized and left polarized. What makes them better than Cloverleaf? Oh, well, the axial ratio is much better. So uh, the isolation of right hand and left hand is much, much better. So you're, you're gonna get less bleed over and clearer video. Nice. So these are all their new kits. They have a factory that they have all these laser cutters, and they pioneered this whole concept of making you know, foam planes that kids can get very inexpensive. $39, $36, that's very inexpensive for a body. So that's what people have been buying is they buy these things and they go out on those tables over there and they can get all their kits for the motors. What do you think, Doug, for your first I, ever? It's a little overwhelming. And they even have swag, flight test swag, which I'm gonna get. I'm a big fan. How much am I a fan of flight test? I started watching these guys years ago, and now when I go to the gym ever, on my iPad, I watch their vlog. So, these guys are the king of RC. This is, what, this is the stuff I used to buy. Like, when I first got into it, before I started building, I would buy these kits. They're, they're horrible. I mean, these kits, like at this scale, because you're just gonna break it, and you're gonna be frustrated, and then you gotta go buy something better. This actually is a good product. These guys <laughs> make this small little one. It's got a camera. You can actually do full That's FPV. Crazy. This this is an FPV quad. You know, you just throw your goggles on. You can see for indoor racing. Very cool. So you think for my setup, I'm using this Tokyo X frame, that new frame that came out. Okay. Plus uh, the 4-in-1 board, and then I was going to use the F3 Beta Flight Yeah, that'd be good controller. Setup. All right. Yeah, we'll with these motors. It's and my new antennas. Yeah. I'm excited. Bit. All right, so now we just left the expo area and we're going out to the field where everybody's flying. Yeah. How many times have you crashed your drone? Uh, well, like twice. Only twice? Yeah. That's good. And very, we crashed into uh, John's leg we when didn't, we were in Cabo. We didn't. Okay. I crashed into we John's yeah, yeah. leg. Actually, to be with more my specific, quad. he crashed into his, his butt. His butt. His butt. Motor do you have in it? It is a Striker motor. It's like a uh, 3,000 kV park jet motor yeah. on 4S. The Striker was one of the first planes I ever had, and I think it's this finger that has two cuts down to the bone Ooh, from that motor. <laughs> from from uh, just you know throwing it yeah. as I threw the plane, my finger caught on the back of the motor, That's prop, crazy. and that was that was painful. Prince or you? Yeah, just uh, skins. You know that guy, Raster Size? No, I didn't know that. Uh, he uh, he uh, used an Illustrator to design them. I just steal, I take the, the PDF file and I cut and paste the, uh, the wing or fuselage or whatever and then I import it to Illustrator and then you start designing them. Panel lines and all. Those look yeah, great. The Warrior ones. Cool. Yeah, the Warrior yeah, ones. Very cool for us Warrior uh, fans here in the back. You just have to take off the paper on the foam board and then you just glue this down. All right, this is like a whole camping and RV area for the people that stayed several days. 
So, I mean, some of you go to Coachella, and then some of us come here. Yeah. It's the same. Yeah, it's the same thing. This is my first time at a drone race course. And Doug and I have lots of questions. Like, for example, what are those things? Those look like some specialized antenna. What are the devices up in the front? Receiving the video. This is what you get at Flight Fest. You get Sandy's catering. You get Sandy's catering, which is probably delicious. Polish sausage, burger. No, we're gonna we're gonna go here and grab ourselves a beer and head over to watch Corona. the drone freestyle competition. And uh, what do you have? Coors Light. Is all that beer gonna fit in no. that cup? No. So you're gonna have to drink it down a little bit and chug then, a little bit. Yeah. All right. Well. Okay, I guess we can do that right now. <laughs> All right, so now we're back down on the field, got our beers, and we're gonna watch freestyle competition. Yes, there's a competition for the best freestyle drone pilot here at Flight Fest West. Okay, so you can either watch the TV right here, which is the camera from his drone up on the TV screen, or you can go out and watch it as it happens. And that was it. No pressure. We're gonna let him regrade that. Doesn't oh. count. Multi GP rule in freestyle. Noah lasted like yep. 30 seconds, and uh, yeah. that's never good for a guy. Never. Especially for a drone pilot. He's gonna reload and try it again, though. So that's Zoe right there. One of the best pilots. I think probably one of the best female pilots in the world. Doug, uh, as we're waiting for the next freestyle person, Doug has picked up an interesting observation. What is that? Beards are very popular. Beards. Just hands through there. There's a lot of guys in RC who have beards. So we've got a whole bunch of guys there. Yeah. Some guys back over here. There's lots and lots of people out there. Lots of beards. So the lesson is if you want to fly very, very well, you're going to need a beard. Yeah, grow a beard. If you're going to be a good pilot, you must have a beard. Or a mustache. Right, Mr. Steele? So what's really kind of funny for me is that I watch all these guys on YouTube, now you get to and see I'm them. kind of like a fanboy of a lot of the people here, like Zoe FTV. I watch your videos and her team. It is uh, it is one quad. They're gonna fly one quad, but it's actually two quads, and they're taped together. Two guys, one or they're quad. Competent. Not the movie there you think. Go. All right, they're taking off. Two minutes beginning. Look out! Everyone's running right now. Why not? This is joke. When, when we were young, we, we played video games, as you yeah. said. It's this. Now it's two thumbs. All two thumbs. All you need to be good in this hobby is two thumbs. Yeah. I don't know who this guy is, but he's amazing. <laughs> Ripping through the trees. Oh! There he is. That's the pilot. Whoever you are, you were amazing until you crashed. But even the crash was amazing. So that whole side is planes. And this is quads. And Doug and I were just saying, like, how do you decide now? Do you want to get into planes or do you want to get into quads? I would, um, oh God, it's a tough call. I mean, there's things about the jets that I really like because they look, yeah. the jets look cool. You started with jets. You, I started. You, those are your thing, and then you went to the quads. I never did the planes. I like the quads. You went straight to quads. Yeah. I had the Phantom 3, because that was your yeah. first quad, and I had the Phantom 4. Yeah. You, use, you use them for fun and work. Yes, I do. Which Mostly is, for work. Which is a tax write off. Yes, it is a tax write off. <laughs> we don't even need a new administration to be able yes. to take that tax yes. write off. If you use a drone for any work, work related, you can deduct that. It's a tax write off. I'm thinking next year it's going to be a tax credit. <laughs> Maybe. Especially if you're willing to do border patrol. Absolutely. And then you actually, it's like solar. Yes. If you use your drone, I can get payback. It's a racing between 850 and 1250s. That's a size class. X it's like class. The, the reason why we did it. Well, we, we we've been uh, we've been flying and racing for uh, many a year. It's like uh, a lot of us. We've been around. Uh, a bunch of them competed in Drone Nationals 15. But uh, you can't. You, you can walk up to a park and you don't have uh, uh, goggles on or you know a monitor. You can't see it. Right. An 850? You can see it. You can you see it. You don't have to go up or down. 
You do. So wait, are you flying that line of sight or FPV? You're still FPV. flying FPV, but yeah. we can see it. I'm just saying, the, yeah. the people who come up can see, uh, because not everybody coming up to when you're fly, you know, flying, on a racetrack like this, yeah, it's hard to follow. It's hard to follow. Oh, here's Zoe. You gotta see it. All right, Zoe's up right She now. likes big butt. I'm going to. She, no, she is, likes. <laughs> That's a great song choice. I like it. All right, so we're just talking about batteries, motors, how the quads are inverting, and these guys are the makers of some of the best batteries for drones. The brand is Tattoo. Tattoo. The thing I don't like about tattoos have nothing to do with the battery. I just want white packaging. I want something that when my battery ejects in the field, I can find it, or like some neon colors. But they're the best batteries. And you know what? I can just wrap some tape around them. Shrink wrap them. Yeah, I can put some tape on them. They're amazing batteries. The best. And you know what? If you're gonna, you know, race quads, you kind of want to have the best gear. You, you know, you got to have the skills. All about the thumbs, but the gear helps a lot, and it's come a long way in the last year and a half. And the beard, you gotta have the beard. You gotta have a beard. That's what we found is you, to be good, you gotta have a beard. There's lots of beards here. Yeah. So, this hobby, now that we've gotten a feel for it, do you think we're gonna see a lot of girls in this hobby? Girls? No. No, definitely not. Do you think that girls like drone guys? Probably not. So we got a few things, got some new gimbals for the radio, and a new receiver, a bunch of motors, some new antennas, and a new camera, and then, you know, summer season, so I gotta get some clothes. You may have seen this drone fly on flight test, and there it is, but uh, they brought it here. It looks like it ended in a sad way. This thing over here, which is, it looks like an exceptionally large wing. <laughs> Is there a body for it as well, or just the well, wing? There, there, was, yeah. there was a body for it. Ah. It was a giant P61, but I took the wing off. Yeah. And that's the only thing that survived, so I just figured I'd just fly away. You gonna try and go back out? I <laughs> yeah. think so. Yeah. All right. Make Who needs place. a center of gravity? Yeah, right? No, no you know, no problem. But you can sign the wing on this side if you think it's gonna fly. Where do you sign if you don't think it's going to fly? You don't. Oh, perfect. I like it. It's just whether it flies. There's been no engineering. There's been no nothing. This is strictly just uh, gluing stuff together, putting motors on it, and seeing if it'll fly. There's not a chance. It looks like it's going to fly. There's not a chance. We're all following the plane out for the maiden flight of the big boy. I want to officially go on record that my contribution to this plan was packing tape. <laughs> That's good. That's awesome, man. That's it. I mean, you know, without it, though, we wouldn't have finished. Yeah, dude. Let's get All right, let me, look, before you take it off, let me get cameras down here, okay? Oh, yeah. Give me, give me like 10 minutes. I watch that guy almost every day. I'm, I'm a huge fan, like a fanboy. Here I am. This is, this is big for me. This is the whole flight test crew. These guys, they're my heroes. These guys have been working on this monster plane for three days. End of the festival, right at the 11th hour. We're gonna try to pull off a flight. Putting in his battery adapters. I'm ready to go, Sam. And now they're ready. I am ready to power. Okay, are these batteries both in? So this time I wanted to do something bigger. And that was bigger, so I built it. Um, uh, we thought it would be fun to just do something even more ridiculous. They're all borrowed motors. It's two cases of foam. Two cases, so how long, how much energy do you guys have into it? We started a big interview. I think there's one major flaw that they are not aware of and it has nothing to do with the plane. You can't run in flip-flops. You gotta go barefoot. Right on. That would have been bad. Are you guys ready? Feeling good, feeling great? Feeling like countdown? They're going after the right
What do you say, Doug? I'm amazed. I can't believe that. Right. How do you feel about well your done. flight? Well done. Woo! Well done. <laughs> All right, so that was quite an experience. Got some stuff. Lots of stuff. We saw some great racing. We saw some people that we uh, like to watch on the internet, on YouTube, and met all the flight test guys. It was awesome.